Hi there, and welcome to Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial videos. Okay, this is my 50th upload to YouTube, so really exciting day for me today. I'm going to look at one of my favourite artists today, who's called Slinkachu. I'll show you some examples of his work. And um, obviously, if you're enjoying the videos that we're doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give it lots of thumbs up. And you can even comment if you wish. So, this is Slinkachu's work. He is famous for going around the streets and placing these little tiny miniature figures in the actual scenes and taking photographs of them. We're going to do a Photoshop version today, so we're going to take a picture of a, a normal person and just shrink them down so they're really, really small. I'll show you what that will look like when it's finished. Here is the example here. So you can see we've got a person, really, really small, in there feeding some food to a little bee. So that's what we're going to be doing today in the lesson. I'll show you how to do that. First of all, I'll just hide that layer and then open up this layer. So there's the two pictures. There's the photograph of the bee in a flower that I took a little while ago. And here's a picture of a person sitting on a park bench feeding a peacock. So rather than feeding the peacock, they're going to be feeding the bee. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick that Photoshop offers you at the moment and make it a lot easier for you to do your selection. So what we need to do is go to selection or select. We want to click on a layer first. So we click on the layer we want to select from. We go select and we're going to go for a subject selection. Photoshop, because it's getting more and more clever with the latest updates, will then decide what it thinks the subject of the picture is and it will make a selection for you. See it's selected this area here. Now if I were to copy and paste this right now, you will see what happens. We've got bits and pieces that we don't want. So there's two ways of dealing with that. Control Alt Z, we can go back a step to here. And we go to this select subject. It will make a decision thinking it knows what we want. Once it's done that, we can then go on to the select tool. And we can use the minus on whichever size we want to remove any bits we don't want, like this. I'm showing you lots of different ways to do your selections, but this is a really handy way. And then we're going to tidy up the rest of it in a minute. So we've got what we want. We press Control T, Control V, and you can see we now have the figure. Now we can. Use the eraser tool if we want to tidy up any bits of it. Make sure we're on the right layer. Let's so bring that layer. It's a bit confusing. And we use the eraser tool and we can carefully remove any pieces that we don't want. So we've got exactly the image that we want, where we want it. Now, what works so well about Slinkertube is miniaturizing things. So we click on to the move tool, we click on to the shrink. And we just shrink the person down so they are the same size as the B and place them into the image like this. And then there you go. It's a really simple technique. Obviously, it works really well if you've got the pictures that will work with each other. So this person just looks like she's feeding the bee, and the bee looks like it's about to have some of the food. Okay. Now, play around with that, play around with different figures, different places of them in the picture, and see how you get on. So, um, nice, simple, quick, easy, quick win for today's Photoshop lesson. Obviously, you could add other figures in and all sorts, but for today, that's all I wanted to show you, and thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.